And, you know, when we think about, so if, if sleep varies so much from person to person, some people can get by with four to six, but some people need nine or even more. Most people need seven or eight or nine. The question is like, why does that variation exist? I mean, naively you would think, well, it, 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 it would be advantageous if you could get by with four or five. Why don't more people have a shorter sleep duration if, if, if that would be an advantage? I guess one idea there would be, well, maybe for most of human history, when we weren't living in the safety, safety of civilization, um, there's actually advantages to being behaviorally you know, quiet for, for the whole nighttime period if you're a diurnal animal or vice versa if you're nocturnal. But I guess, I guess the question is, what, in a sense, why aren't there more people that are shorter sleepers? Um, you know, yeah. Because that, that would seem like an advantage. Like You, you right. can just stay up and do right. more stuff and right. get more done. Right. Yeah. And a lot of people ask me this question. And I think my answer is always that actually, like you say, there was no advantage to be a short sleeper, especially before electricity mm -hmm. was discovered. Right. If it was dark, what could you do in the in the darkness? You know, you, you read next to candle and how long can you read next to candle light or some very, very limited things that you can do. And and it it probably was dangerous to go outside, right, in right, the darkness right. with all the animals outside. And so there was no uh, advantages, and therefore it's a newer mutation, and that's why it's so rare. Hmm. Now, on the other hand, why do people have longer sleep? That I, I think is less clear. But you know, genetic mutation is naturally occurring, right? Mm -hmm. Because we we are subjected to environmental factors, sunlight, and all these things that can cause DNA mutation, right? And we it's just nature a part of the nature occurring uh, DNA mutation. And I would say that because long sleeper again is even r more rare than short sleeper, hmm. right? And so I think it might be just nature occurring uh, mutations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We only have one uh, long sleeper mutation so far. It's not published, but we have one mutation. So. I see. So short sleepers are rare, but long sleepers are even more rare. Yeah. So it really is the vast, vast majority of people that are in that normal middle range. 